Hi, welcome to JLabs. To log into your Raspberry Pi remotely, you need the IP of the Raspberry Pi. This is basically like your house address and tells the computer where to look for it on the network. By default, the router automatically assigns your Raspberry Pi an IP address when it connects to the network. However, this can change whenever you remove your Pi from the network. Having a static IP isn't essential, but it will make repeated access to the Raspberry Pi via SSH much simpler, as you'll always know that the Raspberry Pi has the same address. The following steps assume that you have the official Raspbian OS release installed and that you've connected your Pi to a network via Ethernet. We will all be doing the configuration via command line, so no need to log in to the GUI. Boot into Raspbian login. Check the list of network interface that are currently available. Type the following. This line implies that we're currently getting our IP address via DHCP, meaning it is dynamically registered by the browser. This is what we will be changing. Now, we need to grab some information from a router in Pi. Type the following. This command reveals your router information. Write down the following information. Pi's current IP address, broadcast IP address, and the subnet mask address. Next, type the following command. This will display the kernel IP routing table. Take note of the destination address and the gateway address. Plug in all the information we have gathered to the Pi's network configuration file using a text editor. I'm using Nano Text Editor. Type the following. Simply change this line to then directly below the line, type the addresses that we have gathered. Save and exit the file. Now, remove any existing leases. Type the following. Finally, do a reboot, then log back in. Run ifconfig to reveal your new settings. And that's it. Your Pi now has a static IP address. I hope you liked this video. And if you want to see more videos like this or stay up to date with our upcoming videos, please hit the subscribe button below.